Um, as you can see, all the parts are now primed. Frame second coat has been on about 30, 40 minutes now. It's touch dry. Um, it's looking really good, looking really smooth. So that that is now ready to be primed. But I'm going to leave that at least 24 hours, or probably 48, before doing it, just to make sure it all is nice and really dry. Now, when I came to priming these two parts, the chain guard and the forks, I wanted to do an example of how you shouldn't prime. Um, when you when you're spraying it, you want to make sure you keep the the uh, can about 10 inches, so about just a bit of length of a long ruler away from the frame. Because if you don't, you get like this here. It starts to clump. Now I've done this deliberately so you can see what happens if you do it wrong. Whereas it should be kind of like a nice flat colour like that, you get this this clumping effect, and then that takes too long to dry. Now this has been on about 30 minutes, and it's still very slightly tacky if I touch it, which means it's not ready for the second coat, which means I have to leave that to the side. Now this one's obviously done, been done correctly, but it's only had one coat on so far. Um, so that needs to be recoated. In about, I'm going to give it another 30 minutes for those two to, to settle, and then I'm going to do the second coat. So now though, we have a very exciting bit of yellow. I'm actually using Ford Daytona yellow, get it from Halfords, pretty cheap. I think it's going to be an awesome color to use on these. Now, as I said, for the for the mud guards, I'm going to do a, a black and yellow combination. Yellow is my primary color, black is my secondary. I'm using for the black, just a very standard black, gloss black, um, not expensive, perhaps it's clear pot. I can't even. Now, there's be two ways of doing this, this, this design. You could either have it as a, a fixed, like, a sharp edged stripe down the middle, like I'm doing, <coughs> or you could gradiate it. Now if we were going to do a gradient, what I would do is I would put, I've got the white down, like the white stripe down the middle, loosely sprayed. I would loosely spray the black edges down the side, and I'd do that first, and then I'd do the yellow over the top, because you'd want to put the, the brighter colour over the darker colour. But, because I want to make sure that this yellow line is really vibrant, what I'm doing now is I'm actually, I put the white down, I'm about to put the yellow down, and I give that, well, really two, two coats of the yellow tonight, one now and one in about half an hour. And then I'm going to leave that, and I'm going to leave that for at least three days, 72 hours, so it's completely dry. Then I'm going to slap a line of masking tape down the middle, and then I'm going to spray the black afterwards. The reason you do that is because if you were to put yellow on top of black, it's obviously quite a look, it becomes a lot duller. Um, imagine if you try to, if you've got blonde hair and you try to dye it red, it's going to come up quite bright red. But if you've got dark hair and you try and buy, dye it red, it's going to come up a darker shade. I want this to be bright, so I'm putting the what, yellow on top of the white now, and then I'll put the black on separately, not affecting the yellow. So this is the actual colour that it's going to come out. I'll just move this slightly out of the way. Which is my interesting setup, as you can see. Right. As I say, always just. <coughs> so here we go, Ford Daytona yellow. Oh, the lights have just gone out. That was unfortunate timing. Right. Like I said, about, about 10 inches away. Nice smooth lines. This is the primary colour that the entire bike is going to be. That's that, that's coat one. And then you just do exactly the same on the rear bumper. Now the extra little bit you've got to consider on this is the attachment nozzle. So I've actually, I'll do the lines first. Again, it's quite a quick process. It doesn't have to be comically accurate because it's going to be masked off anyway. Good. And that is those two. 
ready. So they're just going to sit like that now for 30 minutes. <coughs> I'm going to do a second coat, I'm not going to bother showing you that because it's the same process. Um, but I will show you them in kind of 48 hours once they're all nice and dry um, and ready to be masked off and we'll obviously walk through that masking process so you can see exactly how I'm doing that. And that's it for now. Um, right, next thing is just like I say, wait 30 minutes, another layer of this, another layer of primer on the forks and those bits are all going to be wait for a couple of days and then I'm going to um, yellow them up to the max. And that's it. Cool.